and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. We are doing another show your palettes kind of video. Look at all these palettes. <laughs> I love palettes, especially eyeshadow palettes. And we thought... I also love palettes. Erin <laughs> had came up with the idea. Why don't you tell them your idea? So the idea is to pick out 12 palettes where like if you're doing a calendar of your palettes, which ones would be which month. So, which palette would represent right, which so month. Right, so what's your January palette, what's your February palette, and so on. Okay, so we thought we would do that. And so hi, if you are new here, my name is Jennifer. This is my husband, Aaron. So We do videos together occasionally. And I do unboxings on my channel. Aaron helps me with that. I do makeup related material and I am agoraphobic. So I do talk about agoraphobic topics and mental health issues. And if you're interested in any of that stuff, or <laughs> hey, if you're interested in all of it, then I highly recommend that you hit subscribe and hit that notification bell and set it to all so that you're notified every time that I upload a video. So, if that you, sounds cool, then subscribe and click on the bell and tune into the vibe, baby. So, if you're into seeing some more palettes in your life, then hang tight because we are getting right into it. Okay, thank you for joining us today and spending some time with us. We greatly appreciate it. So we're calling this project Making a Palander. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We just came up with it. If you want to do this, great. Consider this a tag. If you have a YouTube channel, I, I encourage you to do this. Um, it was kind of, it was fun going through our palettes. I had just done a declutter, so it's always fun to go through your palettes. And so let's go ahead and get to it. All right. So we're starting off with January. We're starting off with January. And the palette I chose to represent January is my Nomad Cosmetics Winter Snow Lodge with all its pretty blues and just pretty pretty prettiness pretty prettiness it's got some I good got blues and wintry colors wintry colors yeah. some greens in case you get you see some greens Evergreen. where you live and i just thought this would be a good representation of winter um so that's what starting, i started starting off the year for winter now, uh, my January one is the you picked a funny one. is the uh, the Trinity Lux Matrix palette uh, by uh, XX Revolution, right? Yeah. Uh, not Twenty Revolution, right? Right. Okay. XX, XX Revolution. Revolution. Okay. Um, the Trinity one, which uh, oops, so here's the here's the colors on that there, and. Um, why did you choose it? So, uh, you know, setting aside the whole thing that the it's still fascinating to me that there is a Matrix uh, collaboration uh, palette. You know, it's like, yeah, I remember that scene where there's the, the the fountains of bullets flying everywhere and the bodies and everything. And I was just thinking, I was thinking of shimmery eyeshadow colors when I saw that. <laughs> but in any case, um, my, my reasoning behind this and just sort of just kind of came to me and I just kind of like the idea is that so this is the January one this is the start of the year so this is the this is when the matrix reboots and the year reboots and everything restarts so that's my that's my reasoning for that and it's got some good like you know wintry colors and stuff in it too and some berries and dark greens and stuff so but mainly it's that the matrix reboots all the caches have to reload and everything okay on we go. <laughs> For my February palette, I chose the Mercury Retrograde palette because I thought it had some 
nice color. Still represents, still represents winter, but has some colors for Valentine's Day as well. I did a Valentine's Day look with this one that came out really well. Mm. So I thought this represented February pretty good. So yeah, that's a good choice. Let me see for a second. <laughs> that's freaking. Am I beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> my February choice is BH Cosmetics looking like a snack. <laughs> Which has got some some uh, interesting color names and just some good uh good uh you know berries and pinks and stuff like that for valentine's day but i like the idea of a snack so <laughs> <laughs> snack on valentine's day okay okay what i have on my eyes today is my march palette since it is march and it is the bh or neither bh what like aaron just said bh Top <laughs> It is smitten in Switzerland, and I thought, yeah, it's got, it's got some more kind of um, wintry colors in it, but it also has some springish colors in it as well. So I thought it would be a really good kind of in between winter and spring kind of. Uh, color story. So that's what I picked for March. So uh, my March one is the uh, Disney Frozen 2 on a palette from ColourPop. And this is actually, you know, probably officially themed as more of a, an autumn one. But, um, you know, there's something that reminds me of autumn too about the kind of the, the early edge of spring, kind of the end of winter, where things aren't growing back yet or anything, but it's getting windy and it's getting a little warmer and all the all the dead leaves are blowing around again and kind of right on the edge of it. So that kind yeah, of Yeah, because reminds... we don't we don't like our leaves. <laughs> <laughs> they they biodegrade back to where they came. But anyway, that's so that's my that's my March pick. Okay. For April I picked my um, Artist Couture Ethereal Bloom Palette. Mm. It has Those what I consider to Those be what I consider to be um, pastels. Yeah, I kind of want to get another pastel palette, but um, these are good because it makes me think of springtime and bunnies hopping around mm -hmm. and. Easter eggs and all that stuff. Sure. So that is my April palette. Okay. Uh, so my April palette is the uh, Peeps uh, Hip Dot Collab palette. So if you're not familiar with Peeps, they're those little marshmallowy uh, yellow chick candies that you can eat at Easter time or any time of the year, really. And um, so, but that's just kind of been an Easter tradition in my family for a long time. So, we like the peeps. So very, uh, very pastel Eastery colors in that too. So, yeah. So for we on May, on May I picked the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. Lots of pretty colors. All the May has lots of berry tones, and pink tones and such and so like that. I thought it represented Mayflowers mm -hmm. and such. So I picked this one for May if it was in a calendar. That's a good choice. My May choice is the Cherry Crush palette by ColourPop. You may notice a lot of ColourPop palettes <laughs> in this one. I kind of like ColourPop. I have one ColourPop. So that's the that's this one. There's a lot of like cherries and reds and stuff like that, but it just kind of makes me think just the cherry theme and everything kind of makes me think of like you know, you know, end of spring going through and all the fruits are coming out and everything and celebrating at the end of the year before summer starts and that kind of thing. Everybody has pies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so for June, that is my birthday month, so I wanted to pick my favorite palette. So that is the Sultry by ABH. That is what she looks like. It, like I said, it's my favorite palette. So it doesn't have to do anything with the month or anything like that other than it's my birthday month. So that's why I chose it. <laughs> and it's sparkly. Yeah. Again, that's yeah. the Sultry palette. And, and are you Sultry? <laughs> When I wear this eyeshadow, I am. Um, so this one, uh, this was my pick for... Um, June? June, yeah. And uh, I stole this from your declutter. <laughs> <laughs> I uncluttered it. <laughs> so this is the one that, that you got before, the uh, the horoscope one, the Gemini, um, she, she, she glam. glam. So just because it's the June one and because she's my little Gemini. <laughs> and... Um, I like, the, I like the colors in it are really cool too. So, that's a neat one. Yeah. So, Void I, I just used this palette last week. I thought I'd pick some fun colors for Sever. There's little faces on those. Yeah. So, this is the Nomad. Those this... monkeys or something? I don't know. They're like monkeys and snakes. Oh, there's different ones. And okay. bears and toucans huh. and. I don't know. I think that's a lizard. That was a lizard, yeah. Hidden embossed meanings here. <laughs> I picked the Nomad Cosmetics Cartagena Magica um, because it has lots of fun colors for summer. I don't know if they're getting that right. They have cute pan embossings. I don't know if you can see that, but like animals and jungle, of jungle different things jungle things animals. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I like summer colors when summer is sometimes in texas summer is really hot in july sometimes it's not sometimes in texas summer is like six months long too <laughs> <laughs> not quite so much lately but it has been so my july one is again from ColourPop. it's a mood and this one's mainly just because this makes me think of uh, the 4th of July and lots of fireworks and stuff just because there's lots of different kinds of colors and some uh, some really good um, why can't I not line this up okay some really good um, sparkly ones and stuff like that because so, good metallic sparklies okay for August I went with color pop palette and it's more in the line of July colors but they're deeper colors it's the ColourPop Lush Life palette. So, more colorful. The lushness of life. But deeper colors. It's hotter weather. It feels more like you're in a rainforest. So, this was rainforest themed. So, sorry if I'm flashing. <laughs> flashing this at y'all. But I thought a rainforest themed um, palette would be good for the month of August. Mm -hmm. And uh, my one for August is the Violet Voss Violet Sunset. And um, I just kind of like these ones. This makes me think of kind of like the, you know, August and the end of summer and the desert and, uh, <laughs> you know, sunset, sunset, and just the desert. And August often feels like a desert, so, you know, hey, it all fits together. <laughs> you tried to escape. You tried to, you tried to, you tried to uh, declutter it, and I uncluttered it, and it's trying to reclutter, declutter itself. It's trying to run away. Nope. It really wants to be decluttered. It really does. For September, this is another one of my favorite palettes. It is a wet and wild coffee cap. It wouldn't make it wouldn't be a very pretty picture in a calendar because it's broken. <laughs> but um, I think of September as even though it stays hot in Texas in September, I kind of think of it as kind of the start of fall. And but it still has kind of those summery colors in it too. But um, yeah, this kind of makes me think of September. So, that's why I chose this. It's really good for a Renoir palette. 
I mean, I don't have a lot of Wenwell palettes, so I was really surprised. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that you liked it? That I liked it, yeah. Okay. Um, so this one, my one for September. He really yeah. likes Violet Voss. Yeah. So this is another Violet Voss one. I don't realize how many I had before. Um, so this is the the Windflower. I keep I keep reading it as Wildflower, but it's not. It's Windflower. So this has got some good like kind of autumny colors and and stuff like that. And just I think just kind of the overall you know look of this one and everything just kind of reminds me of September and kind of starting you know starting the year you know starting the year again for school and all that. And, yeah. Do you want this? Excuse me. Okay, for October, is that uh -huh. what I'm Yep. Okay, I've got the Ace Beauté Falling For You palette. I did a look on this. We did the same one, didn't we? A few weeks ago. <laughs> October? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why don't we just show it together? Great minds think alike. So this is our October palette. You didn't palette. even realize when I was picking it up and picked I it thought out. you picked it for November. <laughs> I think I moved it. Okay. So this is our choice for October. I love this palette. Because I'm lot. falling for you and you're falling for me. <laughs> and love. it's a great, it's a great fall palette. It's a great fall palette. Great quality. Yeah. I can't say enough good things about this palette. <laughs> we should both wear it every day. Okay. For November, I'm thinking more neutral colors so I picked up my Patrick Ta Major Dimension shiny. palette. Palette is shiny. Things. Um I'm thinking Thanksgiving making a real pretty look for Thanksgiving with this real making your turkey look beautiful. Making the turkey look beautiful. Yeah. Um kind of toning things down for November. Um but it's got some pretty glam um, shimmers in here, so yeah, I really like that palette a lot. <laughs> this is my um, so this is my pick for November, the spontaneous Sagittarius she glam palette. So this one's this one's mine because I'm a Sagittarius as far as I can remember. Yeah, yeah but his birthday's in December. Yeah, I'm at the, I'm at the trailing edge of Sagittarius, but. I think this I think this fits me pretty well because this is I think this is really this is me here definitely all the the beauty and the everything <laughs> totally they nailed it they nailed it and it's like like a mess nice, like I'm hot also this arrow is sharp oh my god look at that that's an arrow did you show the colors it has really cool colors too I like violets and blues and and stuff like that so that's got some really that's got some really interesting ones and I'm an independent and wanderlust dreamer as it says. I'm a fascinating soul. <laughs> okay. Hey, it said it, not me. I mean, you know. For December, I had to pick my BH Naughty palette. Ooh. And that's what she not looks like right there. Really fun palette for December. It's got some reds, it's got some greens, it's, it's got, got some gold. It's, it's got a couple of glitters in it. Yeah. And. Purples and blues and just lots of fun festive colors and yeah, it's a really fun for December. Right. So my last one for this one for December is the the Disney Frozen Two because of my obsession with all things Disney Frozen. Uh, Frozen Two palette with Elsa. So this is a good wintry one, got the snowflakes and everything, and yeah, that's pretty much just an obvious one. Got all the wintry stuff on that, so I like that one a lot. And we just uh, we just watched uh, the Disney Encanto too. Yeah, really good movie. And that was good. And uh, I just like to you know just you know put this out there that uh, they come out with palettes for that on there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they did Alomar Cosmetics did. Oh, did they? Not right? Color Pop. Oh, okay. But Not color pop. No. Where Saturday. were you, color pop? You dropped the ball on this one. Um. Can't get them all, I guess. 
But do you want that palette? I'll I get it know. for I'd you. Have to, I'd have to look. Okay. I'll show it to you later. <laughs> Um, but anyway, those are our palettes that we would put into a calendar if we made a, a calendar a calendar out of our eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> what would you put? Or if you don't want to put like all 12 months, what eyeshadow palette would you put for like your birthday month yeah. or something like that? Leave comments down below. Tell us what you think. Um, such. What do you think of our choices? What would be your choices? Anything like that. Tell us anything. Let us know how your day is going. We're very, very nosy. We just want to know things. And we're bored. <laughs> okay. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Share your comments, like I said. And all those I, good things. All those good things. And I hope you are having a wonderful, fantastic day. We hope. That you're having a wonderful yes, fantastic day. I also day. hope, yes. And um, if you are not, we hope something comes along and sparks your day. So jump starts it. Jump starts. It. <laughs> so that you can have a wonderful Defibrate rest of your weekend your <laughs> or a week whenever you are watching this. And if you are having an especially hard time, know that we are sending you out those good vibes. And just remember to stay strong and stay healthy and stay safe out there. And I will see you tomorrow in a Mask Monday video. And just stay well until then. Okay, goodbye.